Hey, welcome. This is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I want to take a few minutes to show you a new product. It's uh, provided by Fairflies. These are trailer rigs. It's a, I call it a trailer rig kit. You get a dozen uh, shanks and a dozen wires for to hold your trailer hook. So I have one here in my vise ready to tie. So what's different about these? Well, in one end you have a tapered return eye and in the other end you have a non-tapered ring eye so that these can be articulated very easily. Um, these are, how long these are? 52 millimeter shanks. That's a, these shanks are very nice weight. They are a matte finish. Uh, it is saltwater resistant. And uh, I think the matte finish helps with, uh, with uh, adhesion uh, of your hook. So here's what's so cool about the trailer wires. They come uh, already uh, they're cut to size, they're bent, and they have a little, uh, they're ready to receive your hook, which is a big deal in my book. So to get these to line up properly, you put the hook eye up, and you put the bend, put the bend in the wire down. Hook eye up, bend the wire down, you insert it, you see how how uh, handy I am with my dexterity. And then you put the hook through the wire. It's a perfect fit. So the point is the, the angle of the eye and the angle of the wire is a perfect match. So there you have it. And I'm going to show you how quick it is. Uh, how I mount these. Now I've, I've been testing these for several months and uh, on rockfish and lingcod and coho salmon and albacore using up to 30 pound tippets and these things are foolproof. So I go about three four turns there and then I slide my trailer hook back to just the proper length and then I get my handy dandy cutters. Guess what we've got these cutters in a little kit from Hairline too. Now remember the days of uh, doubling wires over on themselves. I. I, th I think it specifies to do this on the instructions. I've been doing this without doubling the wire over and I found these to be absolutely error proof. Um, I'm fishing 20 pound tippets, 25 pound tippets, fishing for albacore. Um, I pull hard. I pull very hard. Harder than I ever pull on a steelhead with I don't even use 20 pound tippets for Chinook. Um, now I do several. First I do loose wrap, a touching, a non-touching spiral wrap, and then I do several layers of touching wraps and I use some super glue. And so when I when I first uh, I first got these and I went out to test them, I thought, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they're good, maybe they're not good. And my reservations about any new product would be, like this, would be, uh, does it hold, does it pull out, does it kink, and does it break? And I can tell you that it does none of those things. I've not had a wire kink on me, not had a wire break, and I've not had a wire pull out. So there you have it you're done. You got your pull this out of the vise and show you how nice it looks.
here you have it. Straight and true and up just the way you want it. Let me show you a little fly. I tied this as one of my bucktails for, uh, I fish it for albacore and silvers. Um, great product. Fairfly's trailer rigs. Um, thank you for joining us and have a very good time at the bench and on the water.